Borbaka is one of the world's leading machining companies and was recently named Norway's smartest industrial company. I'm excited to introduce Rolf Tu, the CTO of Orbaca and Ignos, to talk about how they are democratizing data to provide operators information on the shop floor. Hello, my name is Rolf Tu and I'm the CTO of Orbaca and Ignos. A critical moment for us in our digital transformation is when we re realized that technology alone does not drive improvement. People do. That's why we think about Orbac as a learning factory, where we are capturing the best practices and using it to improve our operations overall. We have always had lots of data, and with Cognite we have been able to contextualize and use it throughout our factory. We have developed solutions impacting production, maintenance, quality and more. And today I'd like to share a few of those solutions with you. Okay, the first uh, use case I want to show is uh, a use case that we made for sustainability. Our customers and our, our company is really concerned about the footprint of our manufacturing. Uh, and then we realized with all the contextual data, we could actually structure and find how much is each machine em emitting and each product and even down to each process on manufacturing. And here you can see uh, a way of approaching the data from top level down to choosing one product. And you can see that total emission on this production was 32.49 kilos, 1.76 per part. And if you compare that to US or EU, uh, you have significantly higher numbers. And you could also even see different process steps. Like this one is the machining, uh, which is the most energy consuming. And then we move over to CMM, which is measuring the part, which is not consuming energy at all almost. The next use case I want to present is about utilization. The backbone of understanding how a factory is performing is of course to have good KPIs to see how you're using your machines. So here you can see an overview of all the factory, the performance of all the, all the machines in the factory in February this year. I can show you uh, on a more uh, detailed level by going down into a group of machines to compare them with the utilization of the, of the complete factory. And from there we can see a lot of different states on the machines that gives us rich insight is in what is going on when the machine is not running. Uh, the most important part is of course to understand what are the activities that the operators have to do while the machine is standing still. It could be searching for tools, it could be faults on the machines like alarms or so, it could be finding specifications and drawings, and we need to make sure that we provide the data for the operators to really improve. And if I go down to one machine, you can see an even more detailed uh, picture of all the states that this machine has had. And also you can see a comparison for this machine towards the complete factory. If you look into this machine, you can see all the products made on this machine, uh, the different states as mentioned, and what is actually going on here. We can also filter down on uh, to see which customers are we most important, efficient on, and what are the trends. Here you can see the trend lines from OEE, machine utilization on work order, and different KPIs that helps uh, the managers and not at least the operators on the floor to understand what's going on uh, on the machine. Going into one of the apps uh, regarding the alarms that you saw earlier, you can see what the op operators are seeing here. They see a total number of alarms. They can see the warnings. Uh, they can also see the duration of the alarms and the amount of alarms coming from all machines. They can go over to see faults, which are the, the alarms that actually stop the machine. And you can go into one of the machines to really see the details. So if you go into this machine and you select uh, one alarm code, you can see when the alarm occurred and what actually happened on the axis of the machine. You can see it, it synchronizes data from uh, different sources like sensors, the control system, and also the ERP system to give you knowledge about what's going on. So if I select this machine, I can see a, a list of alarms going on on the machine and I can uh, see uh, all the axes 
all the loads, the feeds and speeds, every insight that, that the service engineer need to see what's going on when the alarm occurs. So you can see how the access performs here. Uh, and also you can see the flow uh, of everything going on in the machine. So this is really a good tool for the operator to understand what led to this fault and also to explain for the service engineer and go back retrospective and see what happened. The final app that we I want to present today that we developed in the front end for use on the shop floor is the app um, concerning the utilization of the machines. This is a key indicator of how our measures are, are um, performing and how the machines are performing. Here you see the states of the machines uh, at, cur at this time in Orbaki factory. You have all the machines. It looks like they're on a lunch break because a lot of them are in, in idling. But if I choose one machine, I can go in and see more details. So here I can see the details on one particular product run through that machine. You can see the states uh, during uh, the time of manufacturing of this product. You can also see what impacts uh, the utilization go up and what the impact is going down. You can see the total uh, utilization on the green bar and the different states of the machine during this work order on the bars below. This app gives insight to the operator how he can influence the utilization of his machine and he can also, if he want, compare to other machines, other shifts to really see uh, how he is adding value to the company. The application you have seen now is part of the solutions that we have developed in Orbaka. Orbaka has had great success with these solutions uh, and we have actually managed to increase uh, the utilization of the machines with 10%. That equals 40 million NOx on a yearly basis from Orbaka at the current production rate. At the same time we have reduced the number of machines by 10%, going from 50 to 45 machines and, and also increased capacity with 20%. This really tells the value of using data in a, in a contextualized and good way. So Obaki decided then to sell all the IP of these uh, products to a new company called Ignos. Ignos is a company that's going to make these applications available for manufacturing industry worldwide. We are looking forward to bringing this to the market in partnership with Cognite.